Big crowd. Benkman would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. Real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lions out here? Check for valences. Hmm. Interesting. Ray, take a look at this. Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more of Ghostbusters. Sorry about the weird opening. It started me here when I learned my save file, so, yeah, a little weird. Anyway, last time we took down the big marshmallow guy, the Stay Puff, and met the target of Ray's new harass- or not Ray, Peter's new harassment <laughs> campaign. And now we're at the library, and I'm- Well, we see what's going on here. Something strange is happening in the library. Carefully explore the building and discover the calls. Be careful. This this isn't the first time the Ghostbusters been. Uh, the, this isn't the first. This isn't the first. <laughs> why is that so weird for me to say? This isn't the Ghostbusters' first time here. And the last visit wasn't exactly trouble free. Ah, oh, yes, the librarian. Wow, big spikes! Hey, cadet, you need to see this. Stand back. Whoops. Look out! There they go. Whoa! Double full torso animators. Come on, after them. You heard, Stance. Let's move. Well, things are getting exciting already. A couple of Class 5 animators. Never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the packs. Okay, now we could, uh... I was trying to scan them before, but I wasn't sure if I was hitting the right button. Hey, he said take it easy. That's not easy. Missed! Damn! Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. <laughs> hey, cadet. To use the shock blaster, it's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. Okay, so we get a new toy. Cool. A freeze ray. A stasis ray. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff, Egon? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. Leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas, you think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here. Okay, let's see if there's anything around here to scan, and it looks like there may be something. Something downstairs, it looks like. Yes, 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 I know, the PKE meter. Oh. Well, there's something around here, alright. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, that's the slum, so... Oh, where is he? I'm just doing laps. And with this heavy pack on, can't be a, a fun time. I'm obviously missing something here. Oh, there you are. Okay, where'd you go? Obviously not there. 
me a little hide and go seek. I gotta say, I enjoy uh, marking up the place. Hmm. Because that seems to be all the shooting I'm gonna get done this episode if I don't find this guy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, hello. Pitch there. Oh. Hey, Bloodhound, we're up here to your right. Strong emanations, no direct source though. We followed our guy in here. He gave us the slip. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Yeah, I've just determined after the, my first recording session. I'm not a true ghostbuster if I'm not wrecking shit. Besides, it probably is uh, leaving less things for, to be shot around at me. Right? Ooh. Uh-oh. Here comes something big. Well, that's something that new. Is a fine example of a level six bidimensional attractor. Egon, did I mention what a good idea you had to come up on the balcony? Oh crap. And now it's pissed with me. Actually. Slow it down somehow. I'm trying to. Burning out my charge faster than I can slow it. Actually, it does seem to be slowing. Stop it cold. Actually, let's see what upgrades we have for this thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, we got plenty of money for this. Buy that. Buy that. And... Yeah, that's good for now. Oh yeah, we're... He's hurting. That's lasting a lot longer now. That was a good idea. Yeah, I should have probably looked at the spirit guide to see. Well, there we go. Bring all the parts and weakness to the shock blast. It's losing strength. Keep tearing it down. And you are Wrangle its focal point. Gone. You got it. Fantastic. Man, how much PK energy must it take to collect an animated entity like that? A lot. A lot of very angry energy. How easy was that? Wait, not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. Not sure if I like that, Egon. 
Oh, that was it. I don't. I didn't need to trap them. <laughs> well, at least they kept you entertained while the dialogue was going on. I think it's her. Yes, yes, it is her. Eleanor Twitty, the librarian. Look, there she is. Meet us at the stairway door. She went down that way. Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. I mean, I can't leave uh, some uh, tables unharmed here. Right? Let's get a scan. Actually, I'll leave that one. Boy, that uh, cuts my frame rate down. <laughs> probably be a lot better if I was using an NVIDIA uh, video card. So I'd have proper physics. us again. That witch! Okay. PKE's out and try to be quiet. Oh wow, a full stabilizing levitation. I'd say uh, uh, panic. Ray. You got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Ah! Gotcha. Ooh, she keeps shushing us. That's her, the Grey Lady. She's the first ghost we ever hunted. Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Easy now. She's real skittish. Okay, let's see what that says about her. And I imagine this is going to have a lot of lore for her, so I'm just going to... Glance at it, assuming I can find it. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, a lot of lore. Oh, book bats. That sounds fun. <laughs> Weakness to the proton stream. And low trap resistance. Wait, how do you know that there's going to be low trap resistance from her? Damn. Let's go. We'll cut her off. These readings are off the charts. Now I'll have to make new charts. <laughs> wow. Oh. Now listen. This place is reading like a psychic pressure cooker. Prime your thrower. Everybody stick close together. What was that? Here. This way. Quick. Oh. That way, okay. Okay, so we stick together. New plan is Ow. out. Flexible approach, Ray. There are two hostile spirits roaming around in here. Two that we know of them. Now I got you. What? Oh no, kid, look out! It's coming your way. <laughs> I just love how the books, uh, after a second, just leap out of the bookshelf. Okay, so I'm mildly amused. What can I say? Temperature's dropping. The vent imminent. Brace yourselves. Guys, I'm in the periodical archives looking at a stack of old newspaper clippings all about some nut named Edmund Hoover, a.k.a. The Collector. On. This dude has a history you should know about. He was a rare book collector who seduced Eleanor Twitty, the head librarian of this book. A gray lady? That would be my guess. Boogie boogie boogie. <laughs> Whoa! Ow. It's okay, I didn't need my arm intact any anyway. Hello. A new artifact. The Reluctant Reading Lamp. Circa 1959, celebrated novelist Arthur H Houston. 
conceived and constructed, conducted research for his new books at this library table, Under This Lamp, for over 30 years. Wow, that's a long book. Severe writer's bro- a block uh, gripped him in the 60s and wouldn't let go. Houston's psychic frustrations channeled into the lamp and resides there now, refusing to let anyone read under its light. No human would stack books like that. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Don't destroy the books. Got it. Oh, and don't destroy the book cart that I'm standing next to. Also got it. Oh, spooky. Okay, guys, it's dead up here. The good kind, I mean. You all cool? We may need to get back to you on that. Anything in here? Hey kid, what's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel moving fast towards a bright light. Oof, class one swarmers. Pesky but combustible. Whoops. They were a little closer than I was expecting. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. I was trying to just bows and dart them, and they were closer than I was expecting. Or the, uh... Oh, a lot of frame drop there. I guess I was still loading everything in. Why do I have a feeling that picture is an Easter egg that I'm not able to quite make out? Whoa. Good thing I uh, died here because, well. Yeah, this is uh, all sorts of creepy, isn't it? That's a creepy, creepy, uh, break room. <laughs> hey kid, what's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel moving fast towards a bright light. Oof, class one swarmers. Pesky but combustible. Okay, no bows on dart this time. On. Just die, uh, please. Oh man. Yeah, if I'm not killing myself, that's, that's a lot easier. Animator. I tracked the slut here. Okay. There's the big fish. See what he did? Give him a new home and our containment facility. Oh, uh, uh, Ray, where are you? Okay. Need some room first. There we go. Look, did you see that? More than I expected. Uh. Ow. Uh. The jerks. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, we just the proton stream.
and we'll capture these guys and uh, wrap it up. No, I didn't want to do that. Ow! Could be trouble. Yeah, everything's all blurred. Oh! Uh, Ray, a little help. Make a hole. Yow. Jeez. Ah, damn. Man down, man down. I'm working on it, Ray. On the way. Oh wow, got lucky there. Yow. I, you gotta try everything, but not this. Take it apart. It's like a, some sort of mini boss fight, really. Oh, ow. Turn around. Oh, son of a. On the right. Revive Ray again. It's not alone. Scan him. He's not in the guide. Uh, they're scanned, Ray. Actually, run. Same team. I got you. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. What we're gonna do is go back to the checkpoint and wrap things up there, and I'll start the next episode after this upcoming cutscene. Oh, a little frustrating. I went around in circles for a while and then died to a boss fight. Once on my own stupidity. Because, you know, a swarm of things, uh, you know, used a big AoE attack and never mind that they were too close to me. But the other time, eh, I, I think it's just trying to focus one down and the other one just constantly hitting me. <laughs> Anyway, next time we'll try to take out the Toy Ghost and catch up to the library. And as always, feedback is useful. This is my second recording session on this, and hopefully I got the audio balance a little bit better. I had to do a lot of work in the previous episode, so hoping uh, things are a bit better now. And also, subscribe if you wish to see more of this or my other content. Thank you for watching, and we'll do more ghost busting next time.